Guys, it's the Mobile Income here. Uh, if you didn't tell, this video is going to be about an investing guide. Anyways, this can be the first one of the year. I've actually been investing. If you didn't tell, I got 3 million coins. That was mostly because of the Robert Woods pull, which if you didn't see that, it was crazy. Reaction was a little subpar, but yeah, you can see it on the last video. Anyways, um, so I've been investing and, uh, well, not really investing. I can kind of like observing how prices have changed throughout the promos. And so I, I kind of see how, um, you know, the players have been. And I know like, uh, this might not be the most like lucrative investing guy compared to like, I know Sabretooth posts some great stuff. I'm not, I haven't been really keeping up with like, you know, Mad Mobile Slay or uh, Just the Bro. And I, I have no idea what MMG is doing right now with Mad Mobile, but essentially uh, i'm trying to find it um so um i'm trying to bring it to you from a more realistic perspective i don't know because i feel like every time i follow saber methods they always get messed up because you know everybody sees them they try to copy them and the market completely messes up so as a smaller youtuber if you're watching this i want to kind of provide my my own insight on investing anyways so i got this fair cooper really really um good option because the Rams have been super good this year. Um, like they score a lot of points. I know they don't get too many wins, but especially as a kick returner, it's a really good option. Um, like hold on. So let's um go on the auction house. Uh, so I don't know if I will be able to pull up a screenshot, but I have a screenshot of him, um, 80 overall, and I got him for 800k, which may seem like a lot, but all right. So there we go. So we got um elite kick returner 800k there are none up right now and uh, if you you know i got that one for 800k it wasn't even a hard bid snipe with about three hours left i i saw him up for like 750k bid i just added 50k on that and i guess it deterred everybody because i got him for 800k so right now even at a low it's 1 million for a kick return so look at that this is what i call safe investment um, the Farrah Cooper is definitely going to be more than this 80 kick returner, um, Jeremy Curley. And he's, it's already going for a minimum of 875k. So, I'm, at worst, what, I'm going to lose, like, maybe, like, 10k. But there's a lot of profit to be made. So, especially, let's, ignoring the Chris Thompson, let's assume they win four games. Because, I mean, you know, it could happen, I'm not really sure. Let's see if there's any up. Look at that, there's none up. 86, it's only going to be the Chris Thompson. Look at that, and that, this is just because Thanksgiving, and his price is gonna, this also it would be a really good investment, because again, 86 kick return would go up, and this is gonna transition to my next thing. Um, promos, here's how the prices for um, promo players work. So, normally there's a set where, um, like you know, most feared had a set where you put the players into a set to get a master. So, obviously, these gold players are gonna be worth a decent amount they're not gonna be worth like you know like 5k like normal gold player they're gonna be worth let's see what they're at and i know you can get them in the store like little thanksgiving packs for like 20k a day so they have to be worth at least 20k i believe they're worth 35k right now uh yeah 35k wow yeah yeah 35k and they're you know like see that 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 could be a decent pickup i'm not gonna pick them up just because it's too much work to resell but yeah also a decent sniping filter i mean if you get lucky but I, I i mean i can imagine there's a lot of competition um a competition on this filter because it's pretty basic but think about it so these are already worth 35k now how it works is as more people are opening those thanksgiving packs they're pulling them in pro packs they're pulling them in all these promo packs or if they just man give them for free the price slowly you know drops which makes sense so I'd say about a third or second to last day, they're at its lowest. That's where the peak plateau, and on the last day, they spike up. Why? It makes sense because people, you know, last second, they're just like, all right, you know, they're cheap. Let me just like stock up, stock up, and I'm just gonna, you know, um, fill up these sets super cheap. And what happens is high demand, low supply. I mean, I'm not a genius, but that's called the price goes up. So the price actually exceeds. The price could go to 40. 50k potentially probably only 40k like it's not really a big gap got a uh, big gap because there's so many of these in circulation but in the elite one since there's less in circulation there'll be a higher price difference so um my main tip for investing if you're looking to fill out these sets um buy all your players on the third i'd say third to last day just to completely avoid any doubt you will it's it's um i mean if you want to take a bigger risk second to last day but 
you know i'm more of the safe investor it's kind of lame i make less coins but you know i'm just like you know i don't want to go too hard and you know because i'm not really a gambler and that's just how i am um yeah also if you're looking to make coins yeah, it's an easy way to make 5k on each gold player and if you have 350k you know you could turn that to 400k obviously if you have more coins you can buy more gold players and if you get lucky um you know, maybe an elite player will drop and you can make some big money on that um yeah so i talked about player up player up was such a good investment um i actually i don't think there's a player up filter yeah there's no player up filter so you have to know the cards which isn't too hard just watch a saber tooth video uh, or maybe watch um just go on a forum on, or something so uh, yeah that's some just decent advice i have another tip but that's only gonna really come into play around christmas time make sure you're grinding these madden feast things because i mean i really don't recommend buying the gold players now i re i'm personally am gonna wait until the second to last day as i said just because it's easier and i might buy some finish out this calvin johnson and then i also might resell make some coins profit um yeah also um tournaments that's what i need to talk about game plans i actually don't recommend investing in game plans i've done it three weeks in a row i've invested in some silver some golds and one elite and i mean it's just not we're not worth it i had to repost repost and i barely made my coins back interesting tip though i've actually seen game plans go down in price during tournaments it makes no sense to me because i thought like people want to finish out their game plan but like so two point run this is the one i invested in because there's that a uh, running uh running tournament a while back all right so two point run i bought this one wow it is gone down in price wait what the heck 600k i actually might buy these i'm not sure why are they so low in price right now Okay, but basically, I bought two point run for 1.25 million, which was a really good price at the time. And during the tournament, it dropped like 800k. So if you need to buy game plans, I guess buy them during the tournament if you see them drop. 600k might be a good price, but I feel like there's a reason. This kind of sucks though, because I've just lost like half my coins. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Maybe see if there's some sort of, you know, tournament or something. I'm not sure. Uh, wow, 600k for two point run go pick that up if it's still at the press after this video drops which could be a while anyways that's all i got for now i do have another investing tip i will however hold on to that until later in the season when it comes into play anyways keep on grinding keep on playing the game i know ea sucks right now hopefully it gets better i'm hoping they somehow save themselves i mean christmas there's some potential this thanksgiving promo already looks pretty good especially that tournament um before i go i'm just gonna go ahead and go through the rewards I'm not even sure if I'm going to get 15 tickets. I'll see. First round, I mean, it's 80 overall. I can grind out four. Three times gold man fuse players. That's not... I don't know. If I'm going to get these tickets. They seem interesting to me. I'm probably going to get the cash here. I mean, the 15 man food items is interesting. But again, I could just grind. Um, And then also top 100. You know, like this is a once in time thing. You got to go for the Thanksgiving stuff. I don't know if I'm going to go for the tickets. I'm probably going to go for the players. Obviously, number four, I'm definitely going to go for the elite player. It's probably going to be unauctionable, but I don't care. I really want to get up, get these sets done. Also, the stuffed player, you know, it's just like stacked player, but Thanksgiving. So I'd go for the tickets. I'm not even sure I'm going to reach tier five. I'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video and you'll see more videos like it. If you like this video, comment down below, go subscribe, go like, join the Mag Squad. Come on, road to 200. Let's see it. And I'll see you all next video.